For a while, the only earth that Sloopy knew was in her sandbox. Two rooms were her domain. Every night she'd sit in the window among the avocado plants, waiting for me to come home. My arms full of canned liver and love. We'd talk into the night then, contented, but missing something. She, the earth she never knew, me, the hills I ran while growing bent. Sloopy should have been a cowboy's cat, with prairies to run, not linoleum, real live catnip mice, no one to depend on but herself. I never told her, but in my mind I was a midnight cowboy even then, riding my imaginary horse down 42nd Street, going off with strangers to live an hour-long cowboy's life, but always coming home to Sloopy, who loved me best. For a dozen summers we lived against the world, an island on an island. She'd comfort me with purring. I'd fatten her with smiles. We grew rich on trust, needing not the beach or butterflies. I had a friend named Ben who painted buildings like Ruald men. He went away. My laughter tired Lillian after a time. She found a man who only smiled. But Sloopy stayed and stayed. Winter, 1959. Old men walk their dogs summer walks so often that their feet leave little pink tracks in the soft snow. Women fur on fur, elegant and easy, only slightly pure, hailing calves to take them round the block and back. Who is not a love seeker when December comes? Even children pray to Santa Claus. I had my own love safe at home. And yet I stayed out all one night, the next day too. They must have thought me crazy, screaming Sloopy, Sloopy, as the snow came falling down around me. I was a madman to have stayed away one minute more than the appointed hour. I'd like to think a golden cowboy snatched her from the windowsill. And safely saddlebag, she rode to Arizona. She's stalking lizards in the cactus now, perhaps. Bitter, but free. I'm bitter, too. And not a free man anymore. But once upon a time in New York's jungle in a tree, before I went into the world in search of other kinds of love, nobody owned me but a cat named Sloopy. Looking back, perhaps she's been the only human thing that ever gave back love to me.